images you just um, saw are three specific clay statues um, that I've made, um, shaped them myself. Obviously, I'm not going to win any awards with them, but they suit the purpose based on imagery, concept, and so forth. I use clay, and then I use my own blood uh, to energize and put my essence into them. Um, I use human bone dust to uh, seal the necromantic circle, and um, then they're baked, obviously, and painted, and then glazed over um, to keep them from, uh, you know, if they get wet, the paint doesn't come off. The purpose of this, obviously, is for different idol images for the altar, for visualization and and really purpose. My number one primary um, avenue of initiatory workings is with the art of Kitty Salamosi uh, that you see in Dragon of the Two Flames. Those images um, are very inspiring to me. I draw well uh, magically to art um, from Austin Spare and so on. But anyway, those are the primary images. But I thought, well, what would happen if I shaped something out of clay? You know, I've seen some of the ancient Near East um, Syrian and Moabite and um, Ugaritic clay uh, uh, figures and idols and gods. And I could probably do something like that. The arts uh, on all of them isn't that great. And so I did. And uh, the first one we have, uh, which I've finished, is uh, Balzebub. And the reason Balzebub uh, is actually out here uh, in the sun is because it's a, a, he has a solar aspect as the god of the lofty habitation or the spirit of divination. Ball of Ekron, Lord of Flies, and uh, Zabibu, which is uh, fire. So we have the fly aspect and fire, black flame, consciousness, power, primordial instinct, all in one. Um, working with Baal Zabub will uh, streamline an effect to your daemon. And which is a very important thing because then your uh, daemon will have a special deific mask association and energizing and inspiration, if you will, for the god of Ekron, the lord of flies. Um, as far as his imagery, it's kind of based around what we have in Dragon Two Flames from Kitty and uh, Carl Ne, who first drew the. Uh, Lord of Flies image many, many years ago when we were working in the Black Ruther of the Dragon. The second is uh, Kamosh, and this actual stone setup you see, the bricks, is called a Bamot, and that's in Dragon of the Two Flames. A Bamot is just a simple altar outdoors where you don't have to have anything elaborate or ritual supplies or anything like that. It's actually just bricks, and it's uh, I painted uh, the name of Chemos, or Chemos, um, on the bricks in uh, Moabite, uh, and I have the clay image of uh, Ashtar Chemosh as the Ugaritic style um, morning star, evening star god, but also the war god, and the solar. Um, uh, kind of the Nergal, if you will. He's actually associated with Nergal, as you'll read in the book. Um, then I have uh, Chemos of Dust and the Darkness, who is an underworld deity, but he has black sun or solar aspects too. His primary thing is the uh, underworld. So it's two different images of Chemosh that are significantly different, but uh, equally useful. So I'm going to continue working in those veins and feel free as you work with the grimoires to adapt accordingly. You know, what, uh, whatever your imagination will allow, you should feel free to do. Uh, it's very important in magic um, is finding that uh, sense of liberation.